Deep beneath the ancient peaks of Australia's snowy mountains, a colossal engineering marvel is taking shape. A project so vast it could reshape a nation's energy future. Imagine a power station, buried almost a kilometre deep. A hidden heart of power, designed to store enough energy to light up half a million homes for days. This isn't just a building, it is a giant, flexible battery for an entire continent. It connects two massive mountain lakes through a network of tunnels stretching 28 kilometers, a distance longer than a marathon. These tunnels are so wide, a three-story building could fit inside them with room to spare. But getting this far has been a brutal fight against the very Earth itself, with machines battling rock harder than steel and unexpected collapses threatening to halt progress. How does one build such a colossal, hidden powerhouse? And what incredible secrets does the mountain still hold? Decades ago, between 1949 and 1974, Australia undertook a monumental task, the original Snowy Mountains hydroelectric scheme. This grand project diverted rivers, built dams, and created power, not just for electricity, but also to water farms. It was a nation-building effort, bringing together over 100,000 people over 25 years. This original scheme helped shape modern Australia. Now Australia faces a new, urgent challenge, powering homes and businesses with clean, reliable energy. The sun does not always shine, and the wind does not always blow, creating gaps in energy supply. That is where Snowy 2.0 steps in, taking the original vision to a whole new level. It is designed to be a giant flexible battery, soaking up extra energy from solar and wind farms when demand is low, and releasing it instantly when needed. This project represents a profound evolution in national priorities, shifting from post-war development to confronting climate change and transitioning to a sustainable energy future. This new addition will boost the existing Snowy Scheme's power capacity from 4,100 megawatts to a massive 6,300 megawatts. That is more power than two of New South Wales' biggest coal power plants that are set to close down. It is a critical step to ensure Australia has stable and affordable energy for the future, even during long periods without sun or wind. This project is not just an energy source, it is a vital stabiliser for cultural home, the entire energy grid. Without such large-scale, reliable storage, excess energy from intermittent sources like wind and solar would be wasted and the grid would become unstable during periods of low renewable output. This positions Snowy 2.0 as a foundational piece for a renewable energy future, demonstrating a pathway to grid stability in a world moving away from fossil fuels. The true marvel of Snowy 2.0 lies in its intricate technical and engineering details. At its core, Snowy 2.0 is a pumped hydro energy storage system. Imagine two giant bathtubs, one high up in the mountains called Tantangara and one lower down called Talbingo. When there is too much solar or wind power on the grid, water is pumped from the lower bathtub up to the higher one, storing energy like charging a giant battery. When power is needed, the water rushes back down through massive tunnels, spinning huge turbines to make electricity. The water is then recycled, used over and over again in a closed loop, minimizing evaporation. This entire process happens deep inside the mountain within a massive underground power station buried about 850 meters below the surface. To put that in perspective, that is deeper than the tallest building in Australia, the Melbourne Skydeck, is high. This hidden complex has two main halls. The machine hall, where the six massive pump turbines live, is 240 meters long. That is like two football fields laid end to end. It is also 27 meters wide and 43 meters high, as tall as a 14-story building lying on its side. Next to it is the transformer hall, even longer at 294 meters and 46 meters high. These six pump turbines each produce 340 megawatts of power, combining for a total of 2,000 megawatts. The sheer scale of these underground caverns, hidden from view, adds a layer of mystery and makes the reveal of their true dimensions even more striking. 
Connecting these two giant bathtubs are tunnels stretching an incredible 27 to 28 kilometers. These are not small pipes. They are about 10 meters across, wide enough to fit a three-story building inside. On top of that, there are two kilometers of shafts and 16 kilometers of access tunnels, like secret roads leading to the hidden power station. To line these massive tunnels, over 100,000 concrete segments, each weighing seven tons, are being made and installed. That is like lining the tunnels with more than 11,000 giant concrete rings. The water drops a staggering 700 meters from the upper dam to the lower one, creating immense power. That is like water falling from the top of the world's second tallest building, the Shanghai Tower, to its base. The ability to translate these raw technical numbers into tangible, everyday comparisons is crucial for conveying the immense scale of this project and fostering a sense of wonder among viewers. To dig these colossal tunnels, engineers use special machines called Tunnel Boring Machines, or TBMs. The Snowy 2.0 project uses three of these giants, named Lady Eileen Hudson, Kirsten, and Florence. These machines are enormous. Kirsten, for example, is 205 meters long, longer than two football fields, and weighs 3,350 tons, as heavy as 500 adult elephants. Their cutting heads are 11.01 meters wide, but the mountains have fought back, revealing the inherent unpredictability of subterranean engineering. TBM Florence, tasked with digging the longest tunnel, a 17-kilometer head race tunnel, has faced incredible challenges. It hit rocks so hard and abrasive, it quickly wore down its cutting tools. Then, it encountered soft, unstable ground, which caused the rock to pinch the machine's shield, stopping it dead. This was not just a technical glitch, it is literally battling the earth. To free Florence, engineers had to use a special technique called hydroblasting, using high-pressure water jets to break up the rock. This shows how they had to invent solutions on the fly to deal with the mountain's surprises. Florence restarted excavation in July 2024 after a seven-week halt due to this issue. The ground conditions have been so unpredictable, especially in a challenging geological fault zone, that the project decided to bring in a fourth TBM to help keep things on track. This new machine is expected to start digging by the end of 2025. The project has also seen other significant challenges. There was a partial collapse in the main access tunnel in May 2024, which Snowy Hydro stated was expected but occurred earlier than planned. Additionally, a safety incident occurred in July 2024 when an underground fan failed. The journey to build Snowy 2.0 has come with a hefty price tag and significant delays, a common characteristic of mega-projects, large, complex infrastructure endeavors that often face unforeseen challenges. When first announced in 2017, the project was estimated to cost around $2 billion, with an expected completion by 2021. However, as the mountain revealed its secrets and global challenges emerged, the costs soared. By 2019, it was $5.1 billion, then $5.9 billion by 2022. Today, the total cost is estimated at a staggering $12 billion, with the completion date pushed back to December 2028, and first power expected in late 2027. These increases are due to a mix of factors, including the global COVID-19 pandemic, a shortage of skilled workers, disruptions in supply chains, inflation in construction materials and labor costs, and the inherent design complexity of working in such challenging geological conditions. But it is not just about money and time. The project has also faced strong criticism, particularly regarding its environmental impact. Concerns have been raised about dumping 4 million tons of excavated rock into the two reservoirs, which critics fear could pollute the water with harmful minerals and even a type of asbestos. There are also fears it could devastate aquatic life, potentially pushing one native fish species to extinction by introducing predators. Critics argue that the project's financial costs and environmental damage to Kosciuszko National Park were vastly underestimated and that other energy storage solutions might have been faster and cheaper. This presents a classic dilemma. 
the urgent need for renewable energy infrastructure versus the imperative to protect sensitive ecosystems. The project aims to combat climate change, a global environmental issue, but faces local environmental damage criticisms. Despite the immense challenges and the battles fought deep within the Earth, SNOWY 2.0 stands as a testament to human ambition and engineering might. It is a vital piece in Australia's journey towards a cleaner, more reliable energy future, helping to power homes and businesses with clean energy for generations to come. Beyond its environmental benefits, the project also brings thousands of jobs and training opportunities to the region, contributing significantly to the local economy. If this journey into the heart of the Snowy Mountains has been as fascinating as it is for us, make sure to like this video, subscribe to Ultimate Mega Builds for more incredible engineering stories, leave a comment below with your thoughts, and turn on notifications so you do not miss our next adventure.